Hey, we're looking inside the engine of a Massey Ferguson GC2300 uh, tractor. This is a three-cylinder diesel. It's actually manufactured by Seki, a Japanese company. And then Massey does some of their modifications, puts their color and their uh, label on it. Anyway, it's been a pretty reliable tractor, but uh, there are some problems with uh, this particular model. I think this is probably one of the first or second year this came out. In any case, if you had one of these, you probably already had this problem, or maybe you're going to. This uh, video probably would have been a little more apropos several years ago, but nonetheless, I'll throw it out there. What happens with these is the exhaust pipe here. This is the uh, coming off the exhaust manifold into the muffler and then out the exhaust, which goes out the front. But as you can see right here, there used to be a little strap, metal strap that would hook around the exhaust pipe and then mount over here to the engine. And the problem was, you know, these diesels really vibrate, especially at low throttles. So over time, you know, the, there was a lot of stress on this, and what happened is the exhaust pipe broke off from the muffler. And then that's kind of a bad situation, because then you have exhaust being thrown around inside of the uh, engine compartment. And it actually took me a while to catch mine. I didn't notice it until I started seeing black soot on the, uh, on the headlight lenses on the front of the tractor. In any case, I headed down to Massey dealer one day to see what the replacement was going to cost, and I figured it wasn't going to be cheap, you know, single source dealer item. I have a figure maybe $100, $150. I believe it was around $325, so I just about uh, dropped my jaw on the floor when I heard that. In any case, the uh, dealer, he's a pretty good guy. He suggested I could try to find somebody just to have this welded, and he also suggested uh, putting this little bracket from point A to point B here to sort of take some of that stress off. In any case, I had a friend who was a good welder, and he uh, did me a solid, and he made this tailpipe back on here and put this bracket on. And it's probably been about two years now and everything's been good. So just in case you've had this problem or going to have this problem, I just want to throw that out here for you. All right. Hope you found this helpful.